Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson on restricted domains. Now this is a topic you may have seen last year in Algebra 2. So hopefully this is going to be a review. So restricted domain basically is um, we have to take values out of the domain that cause our function to be undefined. Okay. So one of the, the uh, number one um, undefined is cannot divide by zero. Okay, cannot divide by zero. That's an E. Okay. Uh, then the next thing is number two cannot have a negative under the radical sign. Not have negative under radical sign. We're dealing only with real numbers, no imaginary numbers here. Okay, so can't divide by zero, no negatives under radical signs. Okay, so let's take a look at this first problem. <clears throat> the domain of the function f of x equals x plus eight over x minus six. We don't care if the the numerator, the top, is a zero. Doesn't matter. But you can't have a zero on the bottom. Okay, no no denominators of zero. So you take your function x minus six and you set it equal to zero. Now you solve it for x. So now we know that when x is six, we have a zero denominator, okay? So if we're going to write this in interval notation, we'll write it as negative infinity to six. We're gonna jump over six. So now we're on the other side of six and we're at positive infinity on the other side, okay? That's how we would write it. So let's take a look now at, sorry. The next problem, x squared minus 5x, set that equal to zero. And we solve that. So it's a two term, but it's not the difference of two perfect squares. So it factors to x times x minus 5. So you set each factor equal to 0. x equals 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Solve that for x, and you get x equals 5. So now we know 0 and 5 give us zeros under the radical sign. So we'll start marching from left to right. negative infinity to zero. Okay, we hop over zero. We go to five, hop over five, and then we go to positive infinity. So what we're saying here is every value in the domain is good for this function except for zero and five, okay? The next eventuality that we may hit is when you have a number under the radical sign. So whether it's a numerator, okay, under with a radical, or just a function with a radical, the rule is the same. So we're going to take our function, and you're going to take what's under the radical sign of x minus x plus 5, and you set it. Well, we don't need the parentheses. Let me get rid of that. X plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Solve it for x, and you have x is greater than or equal to negative 5. All right. So because it's a radical, it could be a 0. If it were a numerator, it could still be a 0. So that's why it's greater than or equal to negative 5. So if we put this in interval notation, we have a bracket, negative 5, comma, infinity. Infinity always gets a parenthesis. Remember that, okay? 
So let's take a look at the next one here. 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Move the 1 over. 2x is greater than or equal to 1. Divide by 2. x is greater than or equal to 1 half. So interval notation, you have 1 half, comma, infinity with a parenthesis. Okay? So that's the second thing you could get. A function that's a radical, or even if the radical was a numerator. Right. If you need to pause and catch up, then do that. Pause, rewind. OK. So let's take a look at the next possible outcome. And that's when you have a radical in your denominator. This one's a little different because you have to remember we can't divide by zero. So it's x minus five is greater than zero. So x is greater than 5. So all values in the domain greater than 5 will give us a valid outcome. So we have a parenthesis, 5, comma, infinity, parenthesis. All right. Same thing applies here if we look at the x plus 3 under the radical sign. It's x plus 3 is greater than 0. So x, therefore, would be greater than negative 3. And you have a negative 3 and an infinity. There's no equality here, right? There's no line under the inequality sign, so this is not a hard bracket. This is a parenthesis. You have to remember, if x were negative 3, you'd have a 0 under, your ra under the radical sign and a 0 denominator, and we can't divide by 0. So I have a couple of practice questions here. So pause the video, work on them, and when you come back, I'll post the solutions. So pause the video now, work on those, and then resume the video. On the first one, 3x minus 6 greater than or equal to 0 because it's just a plain radical. So you have 3x is greater than 6 x is greater than 2. So, hard bracket at the 2. I'm sorry, it's greater than or equal to 2. So that's why you have a hard bracket at 2, comma, infinity. On number 2, 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. 2x equals 5. So x is equal to 5 halves. So every value in the domain except for 5 halves has, gives us a valid function. So we have negative infinity, 5 halves, both parentheses. We're hopping over 5 halves, and we're continuing to positive infinity. So those are the solutions to the two practice problems. Classwork will just be more problems like this. So let's take a little review. First, pos first thing, cannot divide by zero. Can't have a negative under your radical sign. If you have a function that's a radical, as in practice question one, or if the radical was in the numerator, you set it greater than or equal to zero, solve it. If your radical is in your denominator, you have to set that to greater than zero, remembering you cannot divide by zero. So thanks for tuning in to the lesson on uh, restricted domain, and I'll see everyone.